You know, ever since this new owner took over, the service here is really slow. Yeah. Have you noticed anything else that's different since the new management? Mm. They're putting a little lemon in the tuna. I love that. Mm. Besides that, look at the waitresses. Yeah? What physical characteristic would you say is common to all of them? I mean, look at this. Every waitress working here has the same proportions, wouldn't you say? Yes, I would say. What's going on here? How is this possible? Do you think it's a coincidence? No. I, I haven't seen four women like this together outside of a Russ Meyer film. <laughs> uh, um, <clears throat> hi. Excuse me. Um, who does all the hiring waitresses here? Um, he does. In fact, we're looking for another girl, if you know anyone. Uh, you know what? That's discriminatory. That is unfair. Why should these women have all the advantages? It's not enough they get all the attention from men. They have to get all the waitress jobs, too. Hey, that's life. Good-looking men have the same advantage. You don't see any handsome homeless. What can I do for you? What do you like, table? No, I'd like to apply for a waitress job. Oh. Have you ever uh, waited on tables before? Oh, yeah. I've been a professional waitress for the last 10 years. And I've worked all over the city. These uh, are my references. I'm sure you'll find that I'm more than qualified. I don't think I need anyone else right now. You're in big trouble, mister. And I mean trouble with a capital. Well, what did I do? <laughs> Anyway, there's at least four of them, and they're all huge. And one is bigger than the next. It's like a Russ Meyer movie. Who's Russ Meyer? Oh, um, he's this guy who made these terrible movies in the 70s with these kinds of women. He's obsessed. He's obsessed with breasts. <laughs> That's hard to say. <laughs> anyway, go on. Um, well, there's not really much more to tell. Uh, he was looking for waitresses, and I went in to apply for the job, and he looked me up and down, and he rejected me. Paul, come here for a second. I want you to listen to this. Hi. Hi. Paul, a woman here claims there's a restaurant on the west side that's only hiring large, breasted women. Really? Look at this. What is going on here? Well, well, well. Nothing has changed. How did this happen? Oh, these are the two guys I talked to, the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission. Hey, what are you two guys doing here? I thought you were going to do something about this. Now you are eating here. Oh, oh well, no. Well, that's that, that, that's why we're here. We're checking, checking. things out. Yeah, we're Just, checking it out. You're checking it out. Yeah. Wait, see you back at the office, guys. Come in. Oh, lunch and dinner. Boy, you guys ought to move in. <laughs> How about the piece of pie? On me, huh? Sophia, take care of these fellows. Hey, come here, sir. I want you to know something. You are not gonna get away with this. Get away with what? Oh, with what? You know what? With the waitresses, how they're all alike. Oh, of course they're alike. Oh. They're my daughters. <laughs> <laughs> well, you must be very proud, my Zach. And may I say, sir, they're lovely girls, absolutely lovely girls. It's nice to see such fine, upstanding women in gainful employment, Mr. Bizak. Oh, this table for you. Oh, a table right here. Peggy, Peggy. All right, Peggy, Peggy's daughter, Peggy. Peggy's, daughter, Peggy. Oh, Peggy's right. coming over to serve. One of the family. Yes, indeed. My daughter, Peggy. Ah, Peggy, good to see you. Hi, Peggy. Thank you very much. Thank you.